the responsibility for upholding human rights. Making human rights real lies with the state, but it is the role of the individual or group to defend these rights. Sri Lankans gained the right to franchise in 1931. In 1946, the constitution gave ethnic minorities protection against the denial of their fundamental rights. And the 1978 constitution has a specific chapter on fundamental rights. The chapter upholds the right to equality. All persons are equal before the law and are entitled to the equal protection of the law, regardless of their race, religion, language, caste, sex, or political opinion. Freedom of thought, conscience, and religion, including the freedom to have or to adopt a religion or belief of their choice. Freedom from torture. No person shall be submitted to torture or to cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment. Freedom from arbitrary arrest, detention, and punishment and prohibition of retroactive penal legislation. No person shall be arrested illegally, and each person arrested shall be told why they are being arrested and be given a fair trial. Freedom of speech, assembly, association, and movement. Every citizen is entitled to the freedom to express their ideas, religion, and culture. They should be able to associate with whomever they choose, form unions or groups, and live wherever they want. Sri Lanka has currently ratified a series of human rights conventions. Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel, Inhuman or Degrading Treatment or Punishment. Optional Protocol of the Convention Against Torture. International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. Convention for the Protection of All Persons from Enforced Disappearances Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights International Convention on the Protection of the Rights of All Migrant Workers and Members of Their Families Convention on the Rights of the Child Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities These conventions and the rights they stand for are supported by several primary institutions in Sri Lanka. The Supreme Court of Sri Lanka through Fundamental Rights Applications the Human Rights Commission of Sri Lanka is an independent entity established to promote and monitor the protection of fundamental rights guaranteed by the Constitution and international human rights standards. The Right to Information Commission was set up to ensure that public authorities live up to their duties under the Right to Information Act of 2016 and to ensure that public authorities communicate transparently and in an understandable way with the general public. The Official Languages Commission addresses the abuse of language rights in Sri Lanka, particularly protecting minority communities. Rights are interdependent, indivisible and interrelated. This means if one right is not respected, a series of other rights won't be either. For example, if a child is unable to access good and affordable health care, it could trigger the violation of the right to education. If a young woman is unable to have a fair hearing before the law for a crime committed against her, it could trigger the violation of her right to health and work. Human rights are also about the relationships between people. Each person is responsible for everyone else's well-being. Rights may seem complex and even distanced from the everyday. However, rights make our everyday fair, equal and meaningful. Rights are for our own well-being, both individual and collective. As citizens, we must actively engage to protect existing rights and improve rights in practice.